is occurring. This is my attempt to, to sketch out this idea of commensalism. So basically in commensalism, you've got a species, and that species is, 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 is basically providing stuff to its environment that are available in the environment that it's not doing in order to be helpful, but simply because that's what it does. Uh, it could be a tree that's holding up a vine. The tree is not growing tall and strong in order to hold up the vine. The tree is growing strong and tall for its own sake, um, but the vine potentially can take advantage of that and may do so in a way that neither harms nor helps the tree. Um, an easy way to see this giving off of resources is with defecation. So organisms have to get rid of their wastes. I mean, it's just something they've got to do. But it's possible for other organisms to take advantage of those wastes and utilize those wastes, in which case you have essentially a commensalistic relationship where you've got one individual giving forth wastes and another individual utilizing those wastes. And if that other individual that's utilizing the waste isn't harming the first individual, uh, then, then the first individual may be neither harmed nor, nor helped by the relationship. On the other hand, the individual might be helped if their wastes are sequestered in such a way that, in fact, they're more effectively gotten rid of, uh, then it wouldn't be a commensalistic relationship. But this is this first species giving off whatever this stuff is, and the second species taking advantage of it. Whether it's uh, resources, nutrients, energy, uh, it could be a place to live. So long as this other species is neither hurting nor helping the first species, we describe it as a commensalistic relationship. <clears throat> 